Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shotgun Tom Kelly and Gina Milligan. All right, we are back. You better believe it, baby. I'm telling you. And it's great to hear the Commodores uh, on, on, on the telethon because I play them on K Earth 101. And you know, last Friday I announced the winner of the audition uh, as a co-host on the telethon. And here she is, Gina Milligan. So nice to have you. You're doing a great job. It's She's so doing a great nice job, to folks. be here. Thank you. All right, now, let's see. We got, a, we got a tote going on. This tote, by the way, is brought to you by MyMedicalRecords.com. And let's see what we got going. Here we go. What That's is it, Gina? Seven. Fabulous! That is fantastic. Keep those phones ringing because we do need a little bit of singing. <laughs> anyway, okay, uh, Dave and Lena, what do you got going on? You over? better believe it, baby. I love K-Earth 101. Here's some people who pick up the phone and phone in their pledge for $25. Patricia Frizzell, thank you, from Van Nuys. Bill Hawkins of Cypress for $25. Bucks. Also, $25 pledge from Jeffrey Davidson of Woodland Hills. Thank you, folks. Uh, John C. Smith from Los Angeles. Robert Lifson from Encino. And John Gallegos from Ontario. Thank you for your $25 pledges. Some hundred dollar pledges here. Mike Rodriguez of LA, Jerry Wilson of Irvine, and Marco Sanchez of Pomona. Thank you. Judy Onak from Orange, Sarah Jimenez from Bakersfield, and Wendy Kwan from Montebello all called in with their one hundred dollar pledges. Couple of phone, couple of people picking up the phone and pledging twenty five bucks. Michael J. Elman of Corona Del Mar and Tina Hart of West Hollywood. Thanks for that. And we want to thank Barbara Schatz from Orange, Ken Lewis of Bakersfield, and Barbara Lewis from Carson for one hundred dollars. Steve Travoli of Garden Grove pledged 25 bucks, as did Ronnie Coates of Culver City and Tony Farrell of Canyon Country, also a $25 pledge. Let's go over to Gina. Jan Conley describes her family as an everyday family. She and her husband Russ have children and grandchildren. Russ also has ALS. This fatal disease affects people in the prime of their lives. I want you to meet Jan and Russ Conley from Signal Hill. Symptoms began with the, the foot flopping as I walked and um, that, that went on for maybe a couple, three months. I think the thing that we noticed the most uh, at the beginning was the fact that he began to walk with a limp and had trouble moving his right leg. And so we sent him to the doctor for that. Dr. Mosafar was uh, I was referred to him because he's uh, one of the few specialists that really know about ALS. And he uh, was, was different than the other doctors that I had seen in that, you know, it didn't take him long to detect that it was ALS, so. He told me the diagnosis and it didn't seem real. I mean, it just seemed like, okay, you have something but you aren't any different than you were yesterday. It, you know, it just didn't seem like that kind of a diagnosis could possibly be the truth. Russ and I both stay busy in our spare time by the hobbies that we have chosen. Russ's hobby is uh, gourd art, and he is mad about it. For those who may not know what a gourd is, it's a, a plant that grows like a vegetable, or a squash, or a, a pumpkin. It takes uh, approximately seven months uh, for them to grow. It takes uh, about that same amount of time or a little bit longer for them to dry. You can do anything that you could do with wood, you pretty much can do with a gourd. So my goals uh, for the future would be uh, to hopefully hear that there's a, a cure for ALS and uh, see my family grow up, the grandkids. But MDA has just been a, a godsend for us and I know they're going to be in the future too. For anyone that is watching this, I would like you to know that we are just an everyday family and there's lots and lots of other everyday families that are going through this. There will be a cure someday, so I, I pray for that. My goal for Russ is to live the best life he can live 
until there is no more life. And um, in any way that I can help him do that, that's my goal. My hope is that uh, those seeing this will, will give to support research. It's, uh, it's vital. Russ is right. Research is vital. This year, MDA and its Augie's Quest campaign helped launch the largest drug discovery project in history, committing $18 million over a three-year period. And MDA continues to award millions in research grants to scientists around the world to combat ALS. MDA maintains 37 ALS research and clinical care centers across the country, three right here in Southern California. MDA is the major provider of services for people with Lou Gehrig's disease. Please, make a pledge now for as much as you can afford and help us stop ALS. You can even charge your pledge on Visa, Discover, MasterCard, or American Express. Dave? All right, Gina. You know, I've been doing the telephone for about 10 years. When I first started doing this, I think the cost for a minute of research was like $45. Now it's $85 for a minute of research. What we're going to do right now is see how many minutes of research we can buy. We're going to put four minutes on the clock. Call in, folks. Help us out. Get the telephones ringing back here. All Let's right. see how many minutes of research we can, we can buy. Do. Let's start it off. How about a $50 pledge coming in all the way from Chatsworth? That's going to help us out. Oh, Let's go here. over to Lena. What are you doing? Oh, Did hi. $25 over here. Another $35. Who's got the calculator going? Add another $35 to that. Jackie. Uh, thank you, Lena. $100 over here to buy research minutes with and a $50 pledge over here. Lisa. And we've got a $50 pledge over here for research minutes and a $25 pledge over here. Get those phones going, you guys. $25 and $30 shotgun. All right, Lisa. Look, we got $150 also on top of that. Uh, reaching over here and another $40 pledge and $25. Gina. I've got $150 right here, another $100 right there. Dave? Here's a $25 pledge, and right behind it, another $25 pledge, and another $25 pledge. That comes real close to one more minute of research. Pick up the phone and make it happen for us. Lena? Yeah, we're going to add to that another $25 pre pledge right here, and you're still writing another $25. You have just three minutes, but call right now. Now is the time to call. Jackie? That's right, Lena. This is very important. This does buy research minutes. In fact, we've got $150 for those research minutes and $50 coming in over here. Lisa. And we have $100. That is going to buy a minute of research. That is what it's all about. Get those phones ringing, you guys. This makes a huge difference in the lives of kids and adults. Make those calls now. Shotgun. All right, what about 230? We got uh, $100. Another $100 bill. Don't you know we love that? Okay, more research minutes are being purchased. $25. How about you, Gina? What's going on? We have another $100 right here. Let's get those phones ringing. We have another $45 over here. And Dave? What do you see? There are a couple people back here who are not on the phone. Folks, pick up the telephone and make it happen here. Here's a $100 pledge right here. That's going to help us out. And I just saw another $100 pledge right over there. Lena. Yeah, I see $10 right there. I love it. She's on the phone. She's not writing it down yet. A $25 pledge. Uh, we need to more. Uh, we need to buy research. $85 per minute of research. You got a minute 50. Call right now. Jack. Oh, thank you, Lena. And again, this is where your money really counts toward these research minutes. We've got a $25 pledge over there, and folks calling in over here. Ph phone's finally ringing, and oh, $100 over there. Lisa. All right, and you have a minute 30 to go. This is Ruben. He got a $150 pledge. Come on, you guys, make those phones ring. All these people want to be on the phone to take your pledge, so call. And good, Ruben got another call. Shotgun. Oh, absolutely, Lisa. Look at here. Another $100 pledge for research minutes. Also, we've got three $25 pledges. Thank you very kindly. And uh, Gina, what do you got? 
I have a $50 pledge right here, and just over here, $150. Dave? $25 pledge right here, and from Simi Valley, I have a $350 pledge back here. We only got a minute left, folks. Let's make it happen. Pick up the phone and call the number on your screen, Lena. Yeah, this uh, call came in from Santa Monica for $35. He's on a call right now. They're pledging $25. $35 pledge right here, but she's not on the phone, so pick up your phone, call right now. Let's get these people working. Jackie. Ooh, Lena, we've got a $100 pledge coming in right now on the phone, and also a $20, $25 pledge that just came in. Lisa. And I've got Pat and Sue. They want their phones to ring, but Sue just took a $25 pledge and a $100 one. We got the phones ringing. Call right now. Shotgun. Yes, one of our Knights of Columbus guys up here has got another $50 uh, donation here, and also down here we got $40. How about you, Gina, what do you got going on? I have a $10 donation that just came in. Another $25 right here. Dave? I had a $150 pledge coming in right there. Pick up the phone, folks, and make it happen. You don't have a couple seconds left. I'll tell you what. Oh, $100. If you're, if you're on the phone right now, we're going to pick up. If you're on the phone, stay on the phone because these folks are going to take your pledge and let's make it happen. Shall we pick up the phone and help us oh. out? Jackie and Lisa? Oh, well, sorry. Well, 44 <laughs> minutes we bought. 44, 44 minutes. That's, That's, That's the payoff, isn't yes. it? 44 <laughs> minutes of research we just purchased in that last four minutes. Thank you, folks. Jackie, Lisa? And that is terrific. It makes such a difference. So stay on the phone. Keep on calling. These are some of the people who have already called. We're going to read some of your names and some of your pledges right now. Thank you, Lisa. That's right. We've got $50 coming in from Joseph Coria of Montebello. Paul Barter from Orange also gave $50 and $50 as well from Sandy Tucetti from Camarillo. And we want to read your name, so call Mary Epson Camarillo, Joe Edinburgh from Camarillo, and Cynthia Lochner from Huntington Beach, $50. Call, I want to read your name. <laughs> That's right, I'm reading Diane Burfield's name from Long Beach. She gave $25. And we've also got $25 coming in from Jane Hughes of Anaheim, Bennett Trammer of Santa Monica, and Paul Amadio from Downey. Thank you for your $25. Janice Perlin Cachetta, Granada Hills, Kelly Rubin, Beverly Hills, Alfonso Guerrero, from Pasadena, $100. Thank you so much. And thank you, Judy Turpin from Anaheim, $25 coming in there. Jane Lindstrom from Tustin, also giving $25. And Marie Smith of Sugarloaf, thank you for your $25. And Steve Schaefer from Pajaros and Jane Bright from Los Angeles, $100. Thank you. We want to read your name, so keep on calling. All right, Dave, what do you got for us? Jackie, you know, a lot of folks do a lot of different things to help raise money for the MDA. In the past few weeks, criminally big-hearted folks were arrested by MDA deputies, and they were actually locked up in the old Who's Gal throughout Southern California. They were given phones to call out and try to raise bail to earn their release. You might say they fought the law, and MDA was the clear winner. Bobby Fuller 4, I fought the law, and the law won uh, with the old shotgun, and of course Gina right here. Now listen, we uh, we have a tote. Now this tote is brought to you by MyMedicalRecords.com. Let's check it out, Gina. What do we got going? And there's our new tote. $786,401. Outstanding. That is outstanding. 
Everyone, but keep those phones going. Dial right now. Now is the time to give us a call and pledge some money for Jerry's gift.